a point charge of minus 2 micro coulomb is located in the center of a spherical cavity of radius 6.5 cm inside an insulating charged solid. The charge density in the solid is rho is equal to 7.35 into 10 to the power of minus 4 coulomb per meter cube. Calculate the electric field inside the solid at a distance of 9.5 cm from the center of the cavity. Given the values, the charge at the center of the cavity is Q is equal to Q is equal to minus 2 micro coulomb. 1 micro coulomb is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6. So, that is equal to minus 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb. And the radius of the cavity is small r is equal to 6.5 centimeters. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. So, that is equal to 0 0.0. 65 meters and the charge density of the solid sphere rho is equal to 7.35 into 10 to the power of minus 4 coulomb per meter cube and we can calculate at the, the electric field at a distance 9.5 centimeter from the center of the cavity. So, the distance is taken the capital R is equal to 9.5 centimeters that is equal to 0 0.095 meters. First of all, we can calculate the, the electric charge on the at that point 9.5 centimeters. So, according to the Gauss law, the electric flux through the Gaussian surface is phi is equal to phi is equal to q by epsilon naught the total charge at the surface by epsilon naught according to the gauss law the total flux through the surface phi is equal to the total charge by epsilon naught so the flux phi is equal to the flux is defined as the e into a where e is the electric field and a is the area of the surface that is equal to Q total charge by epsilon naught. So, in this case, the electric field at the surface E is equal to the total charge by epsilon naught A. So, this is the electric field at that surface. First of all, we can calculate the, the charge on the at the Gaussian surface. So, we can calculate the, the charge at the surf, uh, outside of the cavity. So, the charge at the outside of the cavity Q out is equal to Q out is equal to the charge at the outside of the cavity Q out is equal to rho into charge density into the charge at the outside of the cavity rho into volume of the volume of the at that point r minus rho into volume at the point small r so this gives the the charge at the outside of the cavity so in this case the outside of the cavity that is equal to rho into vr minus v small r where v is the volume of the surface so q out is equal to the charge at the outside of the cavity q out is equal to charge density into the volume of the at that point r is 4 third pi r cube minus where v r v small r is the the volume of the cavity surface. So, the volume of the cavity 4 third pi small r cube. This gives to the, the charge at the outside of the cavity. So, the q out is equal to the charge at the outside of the cavity q out is equal to 4 third 
phi rho into r cube minus small r cube. So, the charge at the outside is equal to 4 third phi into the charge density is the 7.35 into 10 to the power of minus 4 coulomb by meter cube into the radius or surface at the point is 0 0.095 meters whole square whole cube minus the radius of the cavity is the 0 0.065 meter whole cube. So the charge at the outside of the cavity Q out is equal to the charge at the outside of the cavity Q out is equal to 1.794 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb. This is the charge at the outside of the cavity. Let us draw the figure. Let us draw the figure. This is the center of the cavity and the cavity is the the distance from the center to cavity is the r this is the r this is the cavity of the sphere and we can draw the, the electric field at the point we can draw the electric field at the point 9.5 centimeter from the center of the cavity so this is the the electric field at the point r this is the r so we can calculate the electric we can calculate the the charge outside of the cavity means this one so the cavity is the insulating charged sphere so the charge at the outer side of the cavity is the charge of the the charge of the outside of cavity minus the charge of the insulating sphere gives to the the charge at the outside of the cavity. So the charge at the outside of the cavity Q out is equal to 1.794 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs. And we can calculate the, the charge at the Gaussian surface. This is the Gaussian surface. This is the Gaussian surface. We can calculate the electric field at that surface or at that point. So the Gauss, the charge at the Gaussian surface Q is equal to or Q total is equal to the charge at the Gaussian surface Q total is equal to the charge at the center of the cavity the charge at the center of gravity plus plus the charge at the outside of the cavity so the charge at the outside of the cavity Q out the charge at the outside of the cavity Q out so the total charge on the Gaussian surface or Gaussian sphere Q total is equal to Q the charge at the center of the cavity plus the charge of the outside of the cavity. So the total charge Q total is equal to minus 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs plus the charge of the outside of the cavity is the 1.794 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs. So the total charge Q out to Q total is equal to the total charge Q total is equal to minus 0 0.2059 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs or Q total is equal to minus 2.059 into 10 to the power of minus 7 coulombs. So this is the the total charge on the Gaussian sphere or Gaussian surface of the sphere. So the electric flux at that point R is equal to the electric field at that point R is equal to E is equal to the electric field at that point R is equal to E is equal to the electric field is the Q total by epsilon naught into A. So the total charge by epsilon naught into a, where A is the area of the surface or Gaussian surface. The area of the Gaussian surface is the 4 pi r square. The area of the Gaussian surface is the 
4 pi r squared. So, the electric field E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is the the electric force constant. So, the electric force constant is the k k q total by r square k q total by r square. So, the electric field at that point 9.5 centimeter is the value of the k is the 9 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square into the total charge is the minus 2.059 into 10 to the power of minus 7 Coulomb whole by the radius the distance of the point from the center to the point is 9.5 centimeters or 0 0.095 meters whole square. So, the electric field E is equal to minus of 2.052 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per Coulomb. From this case, the electric field is taken the negative because the direction of the electric field towards the center or inverse. The electric field is so, the electric field towards the center or inwards of the sphere or Gaussian surface. This is the electric field at that point R is equal to 9.5 centimeters and the negative sign taken the, the electric field at points radially inwards.